do, do, do. There is a new record-breaking laboratory-grown diamond. Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Julia the Gemologist from the Gem Academy and welcome to my YouTube channel, the place for gem and jewellery professionals who would like to learn more about laboratory-grown diamonds. <laughs> laboratory-grown diamonds, also termed synthetic diamonds, are artificially produced diamonds and new records for size occur pretty often in the world of laboratory-grown diamonds, with at least a couple of record-breaking stones being announced almost annually. Last week, it was announced that we have a new winner in the size category for CVD produced laboratory-grown diamonds. CVD stands for chemical vapour deposition, and this is one of the two main processes of producing laboratory-grown diamonds. To give you a little bit of background into the advancements of CVD synthesis and the sizes it can produce, this synthesis process was first developed in the 1950s, but even 20 years ago, faceted laboratory-grown diamonds over one carat were unheard of. They just did not exist. In fact, the very first one that was announced was only in 2003, but this one was brown. The first colourless CVD laboratory-grown diamond over one carat came about in 2010, and sizes over three carats weren't achieved until 2015. But it's fair to say we've come a long way since then, and dare I say, in record time. Producers hit three carats in 2016, five carats in 2017, six carats in 2018, and then nine carats, also in 2018, 12.75 carats in 2020, 14.6 carats in 2021, and now in February 2022, we have a new record-breaking size of 16.47 carats. <laughs> this CVD laboratory-grown diamond is a princess cut. And it's pretty big, measuring just under 14 millimetres in diameter. It has been graded an equivalent clarity grade to VVS2, which is pretty standard for laboratory-grown diamonds grown through CVD synthesis. And it has an equivalent colour grade to G, which is near colourless. And this is more interesting, as this is an as-grown colour, meaning that this stone was not treated after it was grown, which is pretty impressive, as most CVD-produced laboratory-grown diamonds do have a brown colour tint to them, and then they are subjected to high-temperature treatments, and also sometimes high-temperature and pressure treatments, to remove some of this colour. Although the coolest thing that I figure from all of my research, unless I have missed something, mm, hopefully not, is that this stone is actually the biggest colourless faceted laboratory-grown diamond that has been produced to date. So that's from both methods of synthesis. So the largest one that has been produced, the largest colourless one that has been produced through HPHT synthesis was 15.32 carats in 2018. And I'm pretty sure that that is the biggest one that has been produced through HPHT synthesis that's colourless. There is a larger yellow one, which is 20.22 carats. But otherwise, yeah, I think this is not just the biggest CBD laboratory-grown diamond, but it's also the biggest colourless faceted laboratory-grown diamond as well. So this stone is pretty big news, as it is a big one. However, it might not be the biggest one for long, as it is likely that more record-breaking announcements will keep on coming. That's it from me today. If you work with diamonds, subscribe to this YouTube channel, as I'll be here for you on Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed this video by the Gem Academy. Feel free to ask me questions, and I'll see you next week for more. Subscribe! And I'll see you soon.